Good morning, trucking junkies. Okay, so the wife uh, went into surgery last night for about an hour. Uh, had her appendix taken out. I'm going to throw that back there. <laughs> uh, had her appendix taken out, and they're keeping her. They kept her last night. They're going to send her home today. Uh, my mother in law said. Uh, said everything went all right and they they do it you know they do it uh, 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 they make a very small incision laparoscopic well, look at my hair man god dang oh, there we go you get that neck gator off man that thing is thick oh hat's going back there too there he goes um but uh, I'm glad everything went all right. It was about it was about 11 o'clock when when my mother-in-law called me, and I really appreciate her being there, uh, and and being able to 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 take care of. What the heck, man? Take care of my wife. Sorry. I gotta fix this. Sorry, I got it fixed. <laughs> I don't know what it was hanging up on. It was hanging up though. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate her for being there and, and taking care of Kelly. And I know she's her daughter, but you know, and and I'm and she does anything for Kelly and, and myself, and and we appreciate it. And but uh, a little more relieved last night when I got that phone call. So, but anyway. Let's get our bus down the road and get home. Let's go. Uh, it's very overcast today, and it was also very foggy going through Chicago and Milwaukee. I uh, have not talked to the wife yet today. I've talked to my mother-in-law. She in the hospital hasn't called her yet. Uh, she went ahead and went home last night. I thought they were going to let her stay with her, but it was late. They're going to call Terry when when Kelly's ready to go. And then I'll, and she's going to be there tonight. And then I'll be there tonight. Helping her out. Making sure she's okay. But that's like the... Dealing with stuff going on at home is probably the most stressful part of this drop job. Uh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, but yeah, just things going on at home and you're away from home, that's, that's the most stressful part of this job. And it's not a lot of stress, especially if you have somebody at home that's real solid like my wife. Man, she she take care of anything, you know. And and having someone like that at home is is, is just a, a a big weight off, you know, my shoulders to have to stress about all that stuff. But you know, when the stuff like this happens and and you know they're down and, and you're not there to to. Uh, show your support help out and stuff it it sucks but you know you're you're out here for a reason and that reason is to take care of your family most of the time you know so you know in one way or another you're going to miss out on stuff but I was just glad my mother-in-law was there to help her out let's go I've stopped for my break um, I wanted to update you guys on my wife I just got off the phone with her she's still in the hospital uh, she hadn't seen the doctor yet and uh, apparently when they do that liposcopy whatever you want to call it uh, <laughs> surgery they pump them full of gas and she can't get rid of the gas it's hurting her um, she may not get to go home today it may be tomorrow um, but uh, 
whichever it is, it doesn't matter as long as, as long as she's okay. Um, but, uh, she sounded, sounded like she was hurting bad. So, I hope she, hope they give her something for her pain and, and let her go back to sleep. That's for sure. But, uh, I'm gonna finish my break and get on down the road and get home. Yep. As you can see, it is raining. I just skirted around St. Louis and uh, we got uh, a little less than 300 miles left and I've talked to the wife uh, they're gonna keep her again today and tonight uh, her white blood count cell was her blood cell count was uh, way up so they're gonna keep her and uh, when I get home tonight I'm gonna grab the keys and go see her. Uh, make sure she's doing okay. She can have one visitor. Uh, if they'll let me, I'll stay the night. But if they won't, I'll go home and let her rest and then pick her up tomorrow and bring her home. But, uh, yeah. Just love driving in the rain. Today's video may not be uh, as long as usual. Just got kind of other things on my mind at the moment, you know. But uh, let's get home. Oh, still driving in the rain. We got uh, still got 243 miles to go. We'll uh, says I'll get there at about 8:10 or so. Uh, barring any any other stops but uh, man sad news all around so so yesterday my wife gets sick and stuff and has to go into surgery and then I find out today that one of the one of the vlogs I, I watch on YouTube uh, and I don't know if anybody else watches them um, but uh, it, trucker Josh vlogs He's been doing this forever. I, he got like over 100,000 subscribers. He's out of Canada. And if you've not watched any of his stuff, he, he does a daily vlog, kind of like mine. It's kind of like he was one of the first daily vlogs that I, that I watched as far as trucking goes. And uh, uh, I, and, and I've kind of bonded my style after his. I do a little, I do some things a little bit different, but uh but I, I always thought that he had, and, and I've been watching him for way over a year now, and and I always I always think that he does a he does a really good job. I think he he's always trying to, you know, uh, improve, and and that's great. But uh, his his grandpa was in the uh, was in the hospital, uh, and. Uh, they were hoping he was going to get out and, and be able to be around for Christmas. That is, Christmas was his uh, his thing because everybody, you know, gathered around. He got to be, everybody got to be in the same place. But anyway, uh, he died last night. So, you know, that's just, that's rough, I'll tell you. You know, you, you're this close to, to a major holiday that, that, is loved by that person and and you're looking forward to being with them that one last time and then that didn't happen so you know it's just it it's a very rough thing to to be going through right now i guess you know but uh keep him in your thoughts i'm going to leave a link down below uh to his his channel if you've not watched any of his stuff go by and check him out um but uh, uh, just keep him and his family in your thoughts. And, and uh, I left a comment for him. And, man, it's just rough. Hate to hear that. Let's get on down the road. Let's go. All right, everybody. We're... Uh Got her parked and locked up, ready to leave out on Sunday. We're 
I'm gonna get the truck to the house. I'm gonna feed the dogs and then head up to the hospital. They said I could, I could stay up there for an hour or two. I probably won't be there that long. That long. I'm pretty tired and I can't stay there the night. And she's gonna need to get her rest. But it's like 8:30. We did a lot of miles, 710 of them. Yep. Do me a favor, hit that uh, subscribe button for me. Give me a like and leave a comment. Did you watch the Lockout uh, Men podcast? And if you did, thank you. If you didn't, go check it out. If you don't want to, that's okay too. But if you did, tell me, uh, tell me how you, what you thought. Let me, let me some positive, uh, some, uh, uh, well, positive feedback, but you know, any feedback, I'd appreciate it. I'll see y'all later.